We've all heard that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but why? It's because your breakfast will either keep your blood sugar balanced, spike it, or drop it. And before you skip to the next video because you aren't diabetic, even non-diabetics can experience blood sugar spikes and drops. These spikes and drops are also known as glucose roller coasters, and once you're on one, you will be feeling a whole mess of other symptoms throughout the day. And those symptoms can include a whole bunch of things, but some of them are anxiety, food cravings, hangry episodes, nausea, headaches, and a bunch more. Hey, I'm Chiki Ninguini, and today I wanna to talk to you about the importance of breakfast. When we wake up in the morning, your glucose level or your blood sugar is going to be at its resting level. Whether it spikes, stays balanced, or drops determines on what you eat or if you don't eat after you wake up. If you don't eat and you wake up and you go straight to work, that's gonna cause you to have a glucose drop and that's that you go too many hours without eating, you'll drop and you'll get on that glucose roller coaster. And for everybody, that can mean different things. For me, when my blood sugar drops, I get super nauseous and I get a really bad headache and I start to get really hangry and I'm just irritable, no one could be around me and it's awful. And that is what happens when I drop. I know that I've experienced it and from working with this and trying to balance my blood sugar, I know that that's what happens to me. But again, everybody is different for you. You might get a headache or you might not. You might get super anxious or you might not. So it depends on you and it depends on how much you drop. So that is what happens when you wake up and you don't eat breakfast. If you wake up and you go straight for your coffee, you're a coffee girl and you reach for that coffee, you're putting an unnecessary amount of stress onto your body because coffee raises our cortisol levels and our cortisol levels is our stress levels. So in turn, coffee makes you more stressed, it makes you more anxious and unless you're having it black, you're most likely putting some sugar in it. So all that sugar is going to spike your blood sugar. So not only are you getting that extra stressor in your body, you're spiking your blood sugar, which will then leave you on that roller coaster and a whole bunch of other symptoms. You can get more anxious, you can get fatigue, you can just a whole bunch of other things can happen from you waking up and reaching for your coffee first. If you are a coffee drinker, I'm not telling you not to drink your coffee, just eat your breakfast first and you'll see a big difference. Have your breakfast and then drink your coffee and you won't experience as big of a spike. Now for breakfast, what you eat also matters. If you wake up in the morning, go to the kitchen to eat a breakfast and you eat oatmeal with fruits or a bagel, a croissant, anything that's sugar, sugary, or carb heavy and really carbs is just sugar once you eat it once you eat a piece of bread oatmeal a croissant anything carb heavy potatoes once you eat that and you digest it it literally gets turned into sugar in your stomach so whether it is sugar from fruits from table sugar from your cereal or carbs that is going to cause a glucose spike on the other hand, if you were to eat a protein-based breakfast, which is the best thing that you can go for in the morning, right? When you wake up, the best thing that you can eat is animal-based protein, some healthy fats, and fiber, then you're golden. If you wake up in the morning and you have steak and eggs, or eggs and ham, and if you're not an egg lover, then you can reach for your dinner leftovers or your lunch leftovers. We have to get out of this mentality that breakfast is breakfast food, and dinner food and lunch food are different. Food is food. And in the morning, we're just trying to go for animal protein, healthy fats, and fiber. So if you're not an egg lover, eat your salmon, eat your chicken, eat your steak, eat whatever it is that you need in the morning, uh, sausage, anything, any, any type of animal protein. If you do like eggs, eat your eggs. I love eggs, ham and eggs are my go-to almost every single morning. So eat your animal protein eat healthy fats, so that can be avocado, a drizzle of olive oil, some nuts, and then eat fiber or any type of vegetable, have some arugula in there, some spinach, sauteed mushrooms and onions. And I know having vegetables in the morning is harder, but really just focus on that animal protein and the healthy fats, and that will leave your blood sugar balanced so that you are not on the roller coaster throughout the entire day and you are stable. The first thing that you eat in the morning makes a huge difference throughout the rest of the day because like I said, it'll 
depending on what you eat, will leave you spiking or dropping. It'll leave you on that glucose roller coaster. And your first spike or drop will determine how big or how small your, your drops or spikes are throughout the day. So if your first spike is huge, it's going to be hard to reel it in and to get balanced throughout the day. The rest of the day, you're just playing catch up. You're on the roller coaster the entire day and you're just spiking up and down. If you were to have a balanced first meal and your sugar does not spike or drop, then it is easier for you to stay balanced throughout the day. So more than calories, especially in the morning, what we really need to focus on is not having sugar and carbohydrates. This is why you can eat 300 calories of oatmeal and fruits in the morning and eat 300 calories of steak and eggs and the steak and eggs will leave you balanced and good to go for the rest of the day, stable, and the oatmeal and the fruit will leave you with a huge spike and you'll be on that roller coaster all day. Both meals are relatively healthy. Oatmeal and fruits are known to be healthy. Oatmeal is a whole grain, it is a healthy grain, and fruits are fruits. I mean, it's fruits and vegetables. Everybody always tells you to eat your fruits. But at the end of the day, a fruit is sugar, and sugar is going to spike your blood sugar. So again, it's not to say that you can't eat whole grains and you can't eat sugar. It's just eating it in the morning is probably the worst time of the day to have sugar. And if you're somebody that needs to have something sweet after every meal, then that's okay. Eat your protein, your animal protein, your steak and eggs, your eggs and salmon, whatever it is, your leftovers, and then have your piece of fruit or your piece of chocolate or whatever it is, because that way you won't have such a big spike. The protein and the healthy fats will balance out the sugar. From my personal experience with working on my blood sugar and working on what I'm eating and how I'm feeling throughout the day, when I eat a balanced breakfast, I just feel better throughout the day. I'm not as irritable, I don't get hangry, I'm not nauseous, I'm just even keel throughout the day and I know that that is because of my blood sugar. When I was younger, and I say younger, but even a couple of months ago, I would go too many hours without eating and I would get hangry. And like I said at the beginning of this video, I would get so hangry, nobody could be around me, I was irritable, everything would piss me off and everything would bother me. And I didn't realize that it was because my blood sugar dropped. I didn't realize that I was doing this to myself and in order to stop feeling that way was simply eating well balanced and eating timely meals, not allowing myself to go so many hours without eating, not allowing myself to drop or to spike by then going so many hours without eating and then just shoving in some chips or something carby because that will just spike your blood sugar, leaving you satisfied for the smallest moment and then leaving you really hungry or just irritable or any other of those symptoms that I've mentioned. When you focus on your blood sugar and eating well balanced so that your sugars can stay stable throughout the day, you're going to slowly notice a bunch of little positive changes. Some of them you were anticipating and hoping for and others you didn't even know originated from your blood sugar. Glucose, insulin, and blood sugar is something that I've become really passionate about because as I've experienced, I've noticed so many positive changes with doing such simple little switches like eating a healthy breakfast in the morning that I just wanna share it with everybody. I first got into this world by finding a, an account on Instagram called The Glucose Goddess. And if you don't follow her, I will put her in the descriptions so you can follow her. She is an, a great account. She puts all these information about glucose, tips and tricks on how to keep it level in really easy to understand digestible graphs. So give her a follow so you can get some more tips and tricks. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I have new videos like this, healthy recipes, IBS and PCOS friendly recipes, tips and tricks, and much more every weekday at 3 p.m.